Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. I was just about to light a fire in the wood stove and I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a quick experiment uh, for you guys. I recently did a video about uh, keeping these extra matchbooks, these little ones when you're all done with them, because oftentimes there's a lot of strike pad left on the back and that can be handy if you run out of strike pad on like another box of matches or something like that. But a couple of people, actually a number of people in the comments had suggested that they were under the impression that you could take safety matches and you could strike them on like anything like card, uh, not cardboard, Sandpaper. It looks like cardboard. Uh, like sandpaper, uh, and that, you know, you could light them that way. Now, uh, it has always sort of just been my assumption that safety matches are safety because they can't strike anywhere, like strike anywhere matches. Strike anywhere matches are the matches that look like the matches that you're used to, which, you know, usually we see safety matches. Uh, but strike anywhere matches have a little white tip on the end. And it had just been my presumption that you couldn't strike a safety match on anywhere because that's kind of the point of the safety match. My just sort of guess about why that would be the case would be that the uh, uh, the extra white tip on the uh, non-safety matches has some extra chemicals that aren't present on this and that those chemicals are are present or you know compounds or whatever they are uh, are are present in the strike pad so you kind of have to combine safety match plus strike pad to to get a light. But I never actually tested it out and the idea of being skeptical of things, questioning things, and, you know, just not taking things as a given, that's a good thing. I mean, in fact, that's one of the only good things about, like, the whole flat earth movement is people in the flat earth movement don't just believe something because someone tells them to believe it. That's a good thing. Um, of course, the problem with the flat earth movement is that they don't take the next step, which is to find out for themselves what's true. They just sort of, like, end with the skepticism and don't go any further than that. Honestly, in a week, you could learn the math and science necessary to prove to yourself that the Earth is a sphere, but people just don't go and take that extra step. So we're going to take that extra step today and find out. Uh, I've got some nice... Uh, uh, why can't I say sandpaper? <laughs> I don't know. I keep wanting to say cardboard. I've got some nice sandpaper right here and a... Uh, what, 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 uh, what type is this? It's pretty rough. It's 100. This is 100. Uh, texture sandpaper and I've got the match and let's just try it and then if it lights I'll put it right in here yeah I'm not even seeing a spark or anything I think I don't know do you want me to keep I'll try it one more time yeah no it's not it doesn't seem to be doing anything it's just kind of wearing off the chemical that's on the end so I think that my presumption was correct that you need the strike pad an actual strike pad to uh, to light a match Although in movies, I've seen this. I've got a little stubble today. Maybe my jaws is just not strong and muscular enough. Anyway, here's a strike pad. This is an old strike pad, so there we go. So there you go. I'm going to light the fire and warm up the house. I think it's good to actually uh, test things. Find out for yourself. Skepticism's great, but take it to the next level. And, uh, and actually find something out instead of just ending its skepticism. There we go. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.